Historians call the Korean War the Forgotten War, but for those who were there, they'll never forget that part of their life. But tonight in The Price of Freedom, Josh Rowe has the story of a Korean War veteran who grew up in a small town in East Tennessee and joined the Army when he was 17. Carl Hatmaker grew up in what was then called Lake City, Tennessee. It's now called Rocky Top. He enlisted in the Army in 1949. Just before the Korean War started, he was stationed in Fort Sill, Oklahoma. And that's when they came up and they said, we need some volunteers. So they said, well, we'll give you three months advance pay and a month's leave. You know, hooray, hooray. <laughs> so everybody volunteered. That's where we're going. So you're going to Korea. Like the old saying goes, where the heck is Korea? <laughs> The Korean War began June 25th, 1950. Mr. Hatmaker got there at the end of July. He fought with the 24th Division. Carl Hatmaker told me he was at the Battle of the Pusan Perimeter and many other battles from July 1950 to August 51. There's some things in there that I've got a complete blank of it. Certain periods. And I was complete blank. I don't remember a thing about what happened. And they said that happens to you, I guess, when you're real frightened or something other that you have, your mind has a way of putting it back in the back or throwing it away or something other. He says he came home from the war, went to work, tried to put the war behind him. But over the years, he's done a lot of research trying to connect with the veterans he fought with, going to reunions, collecting books and information on the war. This room in his home is packed with memories of the fighting he saw as a very young man. It don't take you long to grow up and uh, realize survival takes over. Carl Hatmaker is now 87 years old. He went to Korea 70 years ago. There are parts of the war he doesn't remember and parts that will stay with him forever. Josh Rowe, News Channel 9. After the war, Carl Hatmaker joined the Air Force in 1957, and he stayed until 1976. He moved back to Tennessee and then Chattanooga in the Chattanooga area seven years ago.